friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C. Zook Stitch, and today is Saturday, November 12th, 2022, and welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you're here spending part of your day or your evening with me. We are back at the paint sample wall. <laughs> I just feel like the lighting is a little bit better over here. Um, my ring light is upstairs, and when I film at the dining room table where you've seen me film for the past month or so... Um, there's not enough outlets for both my computer and the ring light nearby and the, the, the cord for the ring light isn't long enough. So I can't really use the ring light at that table. So I'm back over here, which, um, right over here, <laughs> there's a bunch of, uh, windows. So I'm hoping the lighting will be a little bit better. We'll see. I'm on a card table. And so the, um, it might be a little shaky, but I'm going to try really hard not to shake you too much. Uh, it was a pretty normal week. Um, nothing spectacular happened. It was just another busy week at work. Um, we have one more week, and then it's Thanksgiving week, which is kind of uh, – Thanksgiving week is kind of uh, – when we come back from Thanksgiving, we just have a week and a half of regular classes, and then it's um, – uh, finals week and then the semester is wrapped up and done and I am so ready. This semester has definitely um, given me a run for the money mostly because my my side job is a new prep um, and while it's very interesting it takes a lot of work which obviously I have my day job that I work at all day long and then I still like to stitch um, and then I have to prep which involves a lot of work. So basically my weekend's and my evening. So I'll come home, I'll stitch for a while, and then I will um, work on the new prep class. So I'll read, I'll write the lecture, grading, and all of that combined just takes up the rest of my time. So I am definitely ready. Thanksgiving week will be a little bit of a break, um, just because I think it'll be quiet at my day job. <laughs> and um, I will probably work from home that week. And then uh, I'm off on Thursday and Friday. So it's, it's something to look forward to uh, anyway. But yeah, other than that, we are just kind of moving right along. And um, I want to make this a pretty quick one because speaking of Thanksgiving, I am doing an early Thanksgiving dinner tonight uh, for some friends. And so I have a lot of cleaning and cooking to do today. So I'm going to try to keep this quick uh, so that I can get to uh, get to cleaning. So I wanted to start with, I had two new starts this week, actually. Um, one of them was for the Magazine Monthly Challenge theme, which this month the theme is generosity. And my new start is out of the world of cross-stitching. This is issue 315. And it's from January 2022. And the piece is designed by Jenny Vanderweel. And it is this really, really pretty winter scene. And it fits the theme because there's, I think the people in the town are very generous. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count uh, dove gray. And this is where I've gotten to so far. Um, so I worked on this for three evenings, so about nine hours. So I got, this is half of the top border. So we basically repeat this pattern over here. So it's not going to be very big. I mean, I have way more fabric here than I need. And then I start, went down and started the school and then I'm going to work my way back, but there it is. And so this is a little slide. There's a little swing set over here. This was so much fun to work on. I love this fabric as well. And yeah, it's just really pretty and really fun. And you can kind of focus on one little motif at a time, which is nice. Uh, and then you feel like you're, you're getting um, some progress. So this will probably go away. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll bring it back out next, next month, but we'll have to see. I love working on it. It's just so much to work on. So little time. And then my next new start was for Garan um, Designer, uh, Focus on a Designer. And this month's designer is Twin Peak Primitives. And so I've had this in my stash called Winter Birds. So I decided to pull that out and start it. And I'm just up here with this tree. 
I'm working on this every Sunday during this month, so we'll get to see progress throughout the month. I am also stitching this on 28 count dove gray. And so this was just last Sunday. This is what I worked on. And so it's just that tree there. Really, really pretty colors. And I like the dove gray because it kind of looks like a, you know, kind of gray winter day. Um, so this one will be fun to see more kind of come through. It's just DMC. Really, really pretty. So thank you to Gary and Ronnie for hosting um, the Garon uh, Designer Focus every month. And they are doing it again next year, which will be really fun. And I plan to participate next year as well. So my 25-7 piece, which is put on by uh, Melanie Watkins of Soulful Stitching, she has a Facebook group called... Um, Cross stitch 25 7, and the goal is that you put in cross, you cross stitch 25 minutes a day or put in 25 stitches um, each day. And so, what, um, what I have done is I've added that into my regular stitching. Um, I don't, I'm not able to do it every single day, but uh, most days I try to. And so, my piece is Winter Friends Welcome. This is the piece I'm working on. And you'll know I took out these words and I just replaced it with more trees. My goal is to get this done this year. This is in the summer 2020 issue of Stony Creek. That's what the cover looks like. Is this the same issue that You Are Lamazing, the llama piece that I did is in? So that's what it will look like. And... This is where we're at. So 25 minutes a day. What have I done this week? I finish up. The scarf is done. There's a lot of back stitching that I'll, I'll do later. And I don't know if you can see this, but I've started up on the snowman's face. Um, so I'll be continuing the face. And then he has like a, a branch. Um, what do you call it? Like a head. Like a hat of branches. Um, and then that... Once he is done, the cross stitching will be done. There's a lot of beads and back stitching that go need to go on next. Um, but I'm planning on working on this for my 25 7 piece for this month and just kind of then assessing and seeing how close am I to a finish because I do think it can get done this um, this year. And that is one of my goals. So that is where we're at. So I'm really happy that the scarf is done. It's so pretty. Like you don't realize... I know people say all the time, like, but when you're looking at, when you're up close to it stitching, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty nice. But then when I'm looking at it in the camera, I'm like, wow, it really looks like there's like light bouncing off of the scarf and all that. It's just DMC. It, it's literally just DMC and how they play with the threads. So yeah, so you can kind of see going up, there's some holes in there, which is going to be his smile for his, for the coal for the smile and all that. So that is where we're at with Winter Friends Welcome. And then the other piece I worked on this week, it's another magazine piece. This is from Just Cross Stitch. This is the April 2021 issue. And the piece is called Stained Glass Window. I'm stitching this for a friend of mine. Uh, and it's designed by Tangled Thread and Tangled Threads and Things. So this is what it will look like when it's done. And I am stitching this on 28 count. I think it's French lavender. I think it's called linen. And this is where I got to. So I did one more square around the border, and then I filled in all. Of this down here so I worked on this for two evenings I think so I kind of took I was over here so I took this and, and brought it down so this is where we're at lots more to do you know this is full coverage in here and it's quite um, it's a lot of counting right there's a lot of there's like four different colors four or five different colors in that background there and so it's a lot of counting to get that effect uh, so it's kind of slow going um, 
But my goal on this is to finish it next year in 2023 because it is a gift. So then I can get it framed and, and gift it to her. Um, so that's where we're at. So we'll be seeing this a lot more next year as I as I work to, to finish that one up. And that one was also uh, for Magazine Monthly Challenge. That was the G for the acrostic. The acrostic is gift. And the G... Um, stood for gift or glass window, whatever you want. Um, and I met my goal on that piece for the year. Um, so I feel good about that. So my goal on that one, I think it was, it was either 15 or 18 hours for the year. And I did complete that this month. So that's going to go away now for the year, but we'll see it next year quite a bit as I aim to finish that up. All right. That's what I worked on. Um, and then I have a little bit of haul that came in. Uh, I placed an order from Garan, and that order came in. I got one of their um, bead beds, I think they're called. I haven't even taken it out yet. They have a variety of colors. I chose blue because blue is my favorite color. Um, and so it has like a sticky mat here and then a magnet here for your needles. And then a sticky mat for your beads. So I also use the tacky bobs. I think they're now called tacky bills, but um, I like this because it's very, very compact. So I picked that up. I got, um, it's falling out. I started to open it. More snag nabbits. If you can see, there's two different sizes in here. I keep losing my one. Like I dropped it the other day in the couch somewhere and I can't find it. I mean, it's somewhere, but I can't, I don't know where it is. Um, so I picked up those and then they showed in one of their videos, they showed their fairies. I'm not a big fairy person, but I don't know. There was something about each of these that I really, really liked. So I got the seasonal fairies. So I got the Easter fairy. Which I think she's so pretty. So these are just, I think they used to sell them as kits, but these are just the charts. So that's the Easter fairy. Very cute. This is the um, the Valentine Miss Valentine, and I will probably do her in solid colors. Not the, it calls for crescent colors, and you could see that variegation. I don't know that I love that variegation in there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do something with the colors to make it. Um, I don't know something that appeals to me a little bit more. They have Miss New Year's Eve fairy, or New Year's fairy, with the clock, which I thought was really pretty. I might even leave off the butterfly wings on her. Yeah, I might leave off the butterfly wings because they're pretty without them. So if you imagine, here's Easter, Miss the Easter fairy, if you imagine her without the wings. I don't know yet. I mean, you know, I don't know when I'm going to start these yet, but so if you imagine it without the wings, I mean, the wings are pretty too, but I don't know that she needs it. Right. Um, and then I got Halloween fairy, which I think is really pretty. And then the one that they showed that is a, a kit that they have the whole kit. So I got the whole kit is Thanksgiving harvest fairy. And I'm going to start this with Robin of Bird's Eye Stitches and um, Gary. Um, we're going to start this on Thanksgiving Day because it's a kit comes with everything you need. And I'm not sure. I kind of don't mind the wings on this one. We'll see. I, I should decide pretty soon because Thanksgiving is coming up soon. So I'm going to start this on Thanksgiving Day. I have another new start for Thanksgiving Day, which I'll talk about next time um, in my plans. But so I picked those up as well from Garan. So super happy to have those. And then I got my next issue of the World of Cross Stitch. This is issue 326. So I got that and oh my gosh, I'm freaking out about this. The free gift was the 2023 calendar and it's the Hannah Dale um, designs. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, I love these and I wanted to, I've been collecting her kits because I want to do like a whole wall of cute animals, Hannah Dell 
designs. So I love almost every single one of these. Um, they're a bit smaller. Like, look at that one. So you get all six of these designed in here. Um, look at him. He's so cute. And the hedgehog. And the bunny. I mean, they're just really cute. The only one that I would say doesn't super appeal to me is the squirrel. I mean, he's cute, but I don't know. But, like, I don't know. So I'm going to, I mean, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge for me. I am so excited to get these charts and to stitch on them. So I will be doing a flip through of this, not this weekend. Hopefully I'll try for next weekend to do a flip through. And that's my haul. That's what I got. Uh, so plans, like I said, so I didn't stitch last night because I was busy cooking and cleaning for Thanksgiving. And I'm not going to stitch tonight because I'm going to be hosting Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I'm going to continue working on Winter Birds. I'll work on that tomorrow. That will, That is my Sunday piece, Winter Birds by Twin Peaks Primitives for the Garon Focus. Um, I was meant to work on Christmas dinner last night, um, and I did not. So I'm going to try to work on it next week. Um, and I'll just show you where I'm at again right here. This is where I'm at. So I, I really want to, I want to get some more time in it, um, this year yet. So I'm going to try to work on that. Um, and then the, I'm going to work on, um, Winter Friends Welcome for my 25 seven piece. And then kind of the main piece I'm going to be working on next week is, or this coming week is my whip go call for this month. One of my whip go calls is Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And I am, where am I? I think I'm right in here. I think I'm right in here. Look at that huge motif. So my goal on this one is I'm going to finish this next year. I already put the date in on it. So I'm going to finish this next year. And this is on 28 count truffle by Picture This Plus. And I'm using, again, the called for Baldani threads. And this is where we're at. I just love, love, love the colors. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you there. There we go. Um, so you could see there's my initials and the year. So my goal in this is to finish it. I think I'm on page one, two, three, four. So I would only have four through four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four through nine to finish only <laughs> next year. But I think it's doable. I also want to finish Winter Quakers next year as well and just get these the series done. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, that will get 12 hours this week for Whitgo. So that will be good. And I think that is everything I have. Like I said, this is pretty short and sweet. And I'm going to quick um, maybe edit out the sneeze. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, slap on the intro and the outro and uh, get this uploaded for you all. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And I will see you all next week. Bye.